have you ever been to the National Portrait Gallery? Look at the paintings and thought and been amazed by the timeless beauty of these paintings. Timeless. Are they really? Have you even thought that maybe this painting at which you are looking right now might be in 10 years or even 50 years time different? Let me introduce you to heritage science, science applied to art conservation, my field of research. My patients are 50, 100, 150 years old, and they too age. They are easel painting, painting painted on canvases. With time, the canvas loses its tension, and therefore paintings are usually restretched on their frame. The problem comes when the canvas becomes too brittle and too fragile, so that this retreating step might further damage the entire painting and create tears that damage the painting layers. The common practice used to be the lining. It consists, like, for example, putting the plaster on an arm to put a canvas on the back of the painting to regain the tension. However, the glues used for that start to age, change in color, and couldn't be removed from the, the painting, so that objects were definitely lost. So there was a need for an alternative, but what could it be? That's where my research and that's where nanocellulose come into play. Nanocellulose, a very fancy word. But it's only described nano-sized particles of cellulose that are extracted from natural sources, such as wood or plants. It has, due to its nano-size, incredible mechanical, optical, and barrier properties. And also, canvases are usually made of cotton or linen, which are cellulose-based material. So let's think, your cell reconstructs a wound on your arm. So why these why this nanoparticles couldn't regenerate these canvases' fibers and also make it recover its lost properties? To assess that, I'm using tools that are available in medical science, from the macro scale, pulling canvas apart until they break, to the nano scale, looking at adhesion between treatments and canvas single fibers. Also important in conservation, the stability of the treatment. And therefore, the physical chemical properties I look before and after accelerated aging. So that we should never forget that even if we want to give a new lease of life to this painting, we should never modify them, but rather preserve them. Acknowledging that beyond Van Gogh's talent, vision, and madness, there is also an object with materials that hold the testimony of a past time materials and techniques. Thank you. <laughs>